Welcome back guys to a new video and this time we're doing something um, tinkering style. <laughs> um, today we're going to install this board. This is an NES RGB board into my um, come on focus into my old NES. Um, also we're going to replace the caps on the board and and what else and yeah I have this second board where I because on this board <laughs> the um, the the PSU is um, defective so I'm going to solder out this. I already started to solder it out uh, still need some more work to do. These points are the hardest to solder out and yes that's the first step. I will solder out this. Also I will going to replace the caps in, in the PSU and yeah um, see you again when I've desoldered this and then it's going to, uh, to the cap replacement part. So, um, I desoldered the power supply. Um, okay, maybe I can get some more light in here. So, I desoldered it and now I'm going to replace all those caps. Um, um, and with this, that's, that's why it's not working anymore. I guess it, it would work because uh, I think I just destroyed uh, when you compare the, these two. Um, make it like that. And you can see here is a little diode. And I broke it off <laughs> on this. So it, it, it might still work because I think this was from, from the video or audio part. Um, but I'm not sure and that's why I'm replacing it. So yeah, now I'm going to replace the caps and that's and I'll be back when I've done this. So I'm back with the soldered power supply. I replaced all the caps um, in it and also the caps on the board. This one I um, laid down flat because this RGB might interfere with it, at least from the description of the installation guide. And now comes the hairy part <laughs> of the of this thing. I have to unsolder the PPU completely intact. <laughs> um, so I can solder in the socket for the RGP mod. Um, hopefully this goes well and yeah, see you when this is out. So I've desoldered the PPU. Um, I already soldered the new sockle, the IC holder in, and next step is to solder it the board on. And uh, on top of that, the old PPU. And That should be the hardest part. Um, it took me now, I don't know, 20 minutes to desolder the PPU. I used this um, desolder iron. Um, this is really handy and it co cost me like 10 euro. And this is super helpful when you're doing uh, this stuff. And 
Yeah, so next I'm going to install the RGB board. See you when that's done. So I finished soldering the PPU to the um, NES RGB mod and that's it for today. Um, it's late now and I want to cut this video and upload it. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I will um, solder the rest, um, all the connections to the to the to the output ports and and uh, drill the holes in the case and yeah. But that should be it for today. I I changed the caps. I changed. Um, the caps on the board and what else? Yeah, I soldered the NES RGB, the hard part of removing the PPU and soldering it to the mod, to the mod shield I guess I should call it. And another thing from the um, from the NES I, I got the um, power supply from. I saw this little bug here. Um, when I go with a continuity meter, um, this is not connected, but it should be connected and this, this was uh, rusty. Um, so I guess it's an easy fix just to solder some a little wire here. And I should have another working NES board. Yeah, maybe um, for another day. Um, that's it for today. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.